How's everyone doing? I'm your Gibbs, and we have a very special first time for me. This is my very first Nancy Drew game. I'm nervous, I'm excited, but more importantly, I'm actually looking forward to enjoying the Nancy Drew here. This game uh, is supposed to be a little bit on the scary side. I mean, I guess it has ghosts in the name. Having said that, I don't really have a sense of how scary these Nancy Drew games can be. I, that's all, really all I have to say about that, so let's just go ahead and get cracking here. Let's go ahead and hit the new game. Now, I did post on Facebook, I asked the question, should I play on Amateur Sleuth or Master Sleuth? And I'll be honest with you, the Amateur one kind of appealed to me <laughs> right, off the, right off the bat. Uh, regular puzzles, hints available, and detailed task lists. However, I uh, got a, quite a few comments of people saying I should just go to the master and be done with it. So that's what we're going to do. Hello, someone get the phone. What time is it? Light. Savannah? Is that you? What's wrong? I got a case for you. Can it wait until later? I'm sorry, it can't. There's been a kidnapping. A girl, just a little older than you. <sighs> Shouldn't the police be taking care of this? There's only so much they can do, and she needs to be found before something bad happens. What do you mean? The call came in for me, but I can't go. Thornton Hall is a dangerous place for people like me. Ghost hunters, you mean? So, people think it's haunted? Uh-uh. They know. Jessa needs someone who ain't afraid to run after her. That ain't me. What I'm asking of you is dangerous. After everything you did for me in Japan, I'll do it. Thank you. Drive to the airport now. I'll arrange a ticket. And Nancy, I didn't call you just because you're a good detective. I called you because you're a skeptic. Thornton Hall is no place for anyone who believes. Well, then you called the right detective. I'm serious. You think long and hard about that before you get on that plane. If what you find on the island is going to get to you, don't go. Stay home. Don't worry. I'm on the case. Okay, that's interesting. We are a skeptic, I guess. Are you sure about this? Oh. I am. Watch yourself around the Thorntons. They earn their bad reputation. Well, thanks for being concerned. I should be okay. Well, it depends who's here. Hope for your sake Wade's not skulking around. Or that loony bin reject, Harper. But it's Charlotte you best watch for. Black Rock Island belongs to her now. Has ever since the night the fire took her. Take care now. Alright, thank you, fairy man. So, uh, yeah, let's have a look here at what we have. It looks like a cell phone of some sort. Oops, I guess I just gotta go forward here. Ooh, creepy. Alright, so I have uh, one task. Find Jessalyn. In my journal. I don't really have any suspects. Okay, cool. So that's a bit of background on the situation. There has been a kidnapping. Wait, shut the tasks. There we go. Alright, so we've got our typical left, forward, right. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be any need for me to... Oh, maybe I can go here. Hey! <gasps> You're not Savannah. No, but you must be Wade. Is she with you? Are you the new assistant? What's his name, get canned or something? Logan? I don't know. All I know is that she thought I'd be the right person for the case. She's not coming. What did you just say? She said she was sorry to send me, but... Nothing could get her to come here. I never took her for a coward. Well, she seemed pretty scared of the ghosts. Ghosts? No, that ain't it. She's scared of seeing me. Whoa, he's a badass. Look out, everyone. I hope Savannah understands the mess she dropped you in. Uh, what kind of mess? What kind of mess? Take a look around and then you tell me. Who's more welcome here? The living? Or the dead. Anyway, Savannah had a package sent. I guess it must be for you. It's up in the house. Okay. Who else is here? 
Clara. That's Jessalyn's mother. Colton, her fiancé. Anyone else? Depends what you mean by anyone. Any other alive or verifiably real people? No. Okay. Am I, am I done here? Oh wait, no. Do you know Savannah? I did. Once. And now? And now I don't. <laughs> wow. How did you meet Savannah? We went to the same bookstore. You don't seem like the type. I'll take that as a compliment and an insult. How long ago was this? A while. Gone now. It was a little old dark place. Carried these musty old books. Stuff that didn't exist anywhere else. What kind of stuff? All sorts. But I was there researching our family. Savannah had this way of reading. Like there was something she needed to know real bad. One day I finally asked, What is it you need to know so bad? You know what she said? What? Nothing. She handed over the book she was reading and walked out. At first, I'm feeling a touch rejected. But then I look at the book. What was the book? That was the crazy thing. It was the Thornton family book of names. Births, deaths, marriage, and so on, going way back. Why would she have that? Why, indeed. I had to know. Took me some doing, but I tracked her down. Okay. Old Blue Eyes here is quite the talker. So you met Savannah because she was trying to find Charlotte's ghost? One of those people who met her was Savannah. Ask her, and maybe she'll tell you about it. After that, she became obsessed with Thornton Hall. We got to know each other. I fell for her like a Black Tuesday banker. In the end, the landing was just as rough. You said you were researching the family. Why? After Charlotte died, that's when something I always knew came out shining so bright, I finally had to admit it. Long as it's been growing, the Thornton family tree's been split down the middle. The evil roots always trying to strangle out the good. I used to think I was on the side of good. And now? What do you think? Hmm. What do I think about old blue eyes here that I've just met and I really know nothing about? I don't know. I know. Yep. Same here. Phew. I got the right answer. What did you mean about the family being split in two? You wouldn't know by looking around here. Seeing the state we're in. But we're loaded. What's that have to do with anything? <laughs> the Thornton family bought its money with blood. And not always our own. And you think one part of the family have more to do with this than the other? I don't speak ill of the dead. Especially not when they're staring up at the soles of my boots. Look around. You'll see. Alright, I'll look around. See you later. Bye, Adios. Adios? It's adios. All right, so there's our first interaction, and uh, what's he doing? Want to hear a ghost? Sure. Check it out. I want to hear a ghost. Uh. Have you always been a ghost hunting enthusiast? I'm not exactly enthusiastic about the dead. No offense meant, but yes, I do find it interesting. Why? Life is a quest for truth, is it not? And death has a way of stripping away all pretensions. That's pretty philosophical for a guy wearing boots. You northerners don't have a lock on big thinkers. We got plenty. Like Roscoe J. Redbrook and the Gimble Tucky Boys. And I dare you to say their lyrics don't equal those of the Greek poets. And we got that old guy with the white suit and the chickens. Point is, I like ghosts because they show me what is. Not what I want to see. And wearing boots don't make you stupid. Makes you smart, if it's muddy. Wow, easy there, big fella. Just ask him the questions. Can I listen to more recordings? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> All right, I think we'll. Can I listen ask one to more, more recordings? Time. Sure. More ghosts. More ghosts. Alright, that's gonna Later. be it for now. Later. We'll be back. We'll be back for you. 
Uh, let's see, where can we go? I'm not sure what we have here. No Rosalie. need to jump, just me. Can you tell me about some of these stones? I'll tell you what I can. But sometimes it's best to just look and listen. That there is Clara's mother. What can you tell me about her? Not a great deal. She loved her secrets. Never even told Clara who her daddy was. Why not? Don't know. When Clara was about ten, Rosalie got real sick. Every day Clara would ask about her daddy. I think she was afraid of being left to fend for herself. But Rosalie wouldn't say. Okay. How can we look at this one? Ruby Newton, a spark at birth, a flame in life, a quiet ember in the night. Where else can I go? This one's all blank. This blank one is my favorite. Why is that? Well, who doesn't want a celebrity in the family? Especially one that rubs all the wrong people the wrong way. The Grey Lady. In the Civil War, they say she was a spy, passing codes for the North. If you look, you can find some of her contraptions here. Her service gave the Thornton family this land. Hmm. Interesting. Harper Thornton. Harper Stone. Harper? Indeed. She ran away shortly after Charlotte died. Long enough that we thought we'd lost her too. One day she walked in the front door looking wild and thin as a spring sapling. Never said where she was. Her granddaddy was so mad he left the stone to remind her of what she'd put them through. She'd sit out there and read. Don't know if it was spite or if it made her feel at home. Knowing her, probably both. Okay, this guy knows an awful lot about these cemetery stones. Somebody may Newton. Can't read it. Can we go up here? Uh... Doesn't look like it. We can go forward though. What's this? Thornton Cemetery, established 1866. This plaque honors those who found their final rest beyond the family grounds, including Franklin Thornton. Defending his nation. Hmm. Anything in the bushes? Nothing in the bushes? See a fountain here. Yay, we have something. Nothing? I'm not sure exactly what I grabbed. I don't know where it shows up. Hmm. Okay, let's go back then. Go around this side over here. Roger Drummond Roger Thornton. and Marie, side by side from the day they married to the day they died. Hmm. Both real sweet. Charlotte and Harper's parents. May they rest in peace. Okay. That same with this one. Maria. Mariana. Let's go up. What's here? It's locked. Can we not pick it? Come on, Nancy, where's your lockpicks? No such thing. Or maybe she has to learn that skill. Alright, I'm not sure who else I need to look at here. Beauregard Thornton. Mean old codger. That's it. Sarah Emma. May she find her voice once more. Charlotte Thornton. That's Charlotte. Dear sweet wow, Charlotte. she lived to be old. Please come back. That's a sad inscription. It was a sad time. None of us wanted to see her leave. Oh wait, what am I talking we about? Didn't expect it to become what it's become. She's 21. I was thinking it was 1861. Oops. Poor Charlotte. Okay, well I think that's it for here. And we already looked at all these ones, right? Looked at Lee. Luther. Luther, my daddy. Mama called him the king of slamming doors. He had a hot temper, but a soft heart, and no mind for business. He was an intuitive. He brought me out here to the stones at night. 
Taught me how to open my eyes, shut up, and listen. You rest well, Daddy. Okay. Luther. Family tree here. Virginia. Virginia. My mother. Rest her soul. Can you tell me anything about her? Just that I miss her. And I always will. Okay. What about over here? Over here. Hi. Do you have a key to the crypts? Sorry. Can I listen to more recordings? One more, please. Sure. Super creep. I want this device. See, See you later. later. Adios. It's adios. Don't do that. Alright. Uh, I think we're done here for now. Let's back up. Mm. Not sure. This was the front of the house. All right. Well, this is where we'll pause, and we'll see you in the next video. We're playing Nancy Drew. Talk to you soon.